from lawmakers and motorists. Mark Webster, CGTN, Brussels. Now, how long should your kids be watching those screens? Children in China could soon be facing limits on how long they use mobile devices. The country's cyberspace regulator is proposing a daily cap of between 40 minutes and two hours, depending on age. Internet access for children could also be completely banned between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Well, let's talk to Will Gardner, who's director of the UK Safer Internet Centre and CEO of Childnet, a group which works to ensure the safety of children and young people online. Uh, welcome to the programme, Will. Uh, so uh, tell us how addictive uh, can phones be? How much of a problem is overusing them? I think technology is, is designed to be sticky, um, and that affects adults as well as children. I think research is telling us it's not necessarily how long you spend using screens, but it's what you're doing whilst you're using the screen, which is important because some you know, positive, productive things can span over a long uh, period of time. However, I do, when we talk in schools with children and young people and we ask them, would you rather spend more time or less time online? I think by and large, the majority of young people put up their hands and say, we'd rather spend less time online. I think there are challenges that we all face in putting devices down. So I think it is important we are looking to see what we can do to try and make sure we find the right balance in our technology use because overuse can have negative impacts in terms of, you know, may, means that you're missing out on other aspects of your life. And for a child, obviously, uh, there, there could be a range of different things in terms of education outside, exercise, uh, and, and so on. But it could also interfere with sleep, and it can also potentially, therefore, lead to mental health problems. So it's difficult to say a kind of a cause and effect, like overuse uh, well, it leads to uh, negative outcomes, but I think it's important that we are looking to make sure that we are um, keeping an eye on the situation. So what about this idea of limiting the time that they can be used by young people? Can regulating their use in this way work? I think it's an interesting, um, uh, interesting proposal. Um, sometimes in the conversations we have with children, they find it easier. I mean, we, 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 when we're talking to families, sometimes controlling screen time use can lead to considerable friction. In fact, it's probably one of the most friction-making conversations that can happen inside a household. Well, sometimes children say it's better when there's technology providing a limit rather than parents and carers coming in and saying, right, that's enough time now, because that way they can factor in you know, what activities they're going to do. They know when the end is coming, and they can make decisions and decide on activities accordingly. So I think... You know, there are some positives in relation to having uh, an external limit to try and re reduce friction within the household. So it'll be interesting to see how this, this proposed um, regulation plays out. There would be uh, quite a lot of changes needed, though, in order to make it happen, wouldn't there? How could this kind of thing be policed? Well, I, that's, that's a really uh, big question, and I think you'd want to keep an eye on what... Um, what the impact might be, because sometimes, you know, they'll be looking for ways around such curbs, whether uh, virtual private networks provide alternative access to, to the Internet from devices that will provide a different, different way through. But also I think there's a potential negative impact that would need to be considered where we do know children, young people do use screens for very positive reasons, you know, to connect with people across the world, to seek help when help isn't available immediately ask important questions and so I think it's important to try and see what that impact might be uh, both positively and negatively and I do think it'd be interesting to see how how such a rule would work in practice